Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Arkham Horror the Card Game on Tabletop Simulator. Um, yeah, so last time we met a rather disastrous end. As can happen in Arkham Horror. That's how it goes. Um, Safina did not do too well in the uh, Asylum. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't want to end the, 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 cam I wanted to show you more of this campaign because it is cool. So I decided instead of fudging things, I'm going to do it right. I'll start over on my own and I'll get back to this point and I uh, will, will soldier on. And so that's what I've done. And as you can see, I've decided to mix it up and play with, uh, two characters. So we've got Safina, the exact same Safina deck, but she is paired with Roland Banks. Everything by the book, every I dotted, every T crossed. It had worked until now. Yeah, so it's going pretty well. I gotta say, um, when I first started this up, and did the first scenario with these two, I got just obliterated. It was, it was worse. It was worse than my ori original run. It was just like, what the fuck? I was so pissed at how terribly it went. Um, and I just, I started back up from the over. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to continue from there. It was bad. Uh, <laughs> it was bad. So I started again a third time. And this run has been going really well. Uh, the only one that didn't go too well was the last king with the uh, the dinner party. I escaped just fine. I set fire to the place again just fine. I didn't die or anything, but I didn't I didn't interview a single person because I found with two characters it's a lot more work and uh, it's a lot trickier to actually get that done with two characters. Uh, I'm sure if I did it a few times, I'd eventually get a handful of them, but... Uh, yeah, that didn't go too well, but that's relatively minor. It doesn't make much difference. Uh, and then we got, you know, we got to this asylum part. And, uh, I'm about to win. I'm on the last turn here. Just a couple actions left and I win. So, this one went a lot smoother. Having two characters... You know, depending, it can be easier, it can be harder. You're going to be drawing a lot more encounter cards. You're going to be having a lot more shit thrown at you. But just having another character there to, to pick up the pieces when one character is sort of fucking up, that is big. That's a big help. You know, when one character fucks up, you just have to keep rolling with your fuck ups when, you know, but with two, you can sort of juggle. So... Safina really does not do much combat now. I really generally try to avoid it unless it's like a little weak thing that I can just stab or blast. Uh, backstab occasionally comes into play because backstab can be pretty potent. Um, doing three damage and being able to boost it easily with streetwise. You know, that comes into play. But mostly she's just evasive. Uh, kind of just evasive support. Roland is obviously a combat machine, as he's meant to be, but he's also a fucking clue-finding machine, too. Uh, he sort of pulls double duty, and he's just supported by Safina, and it works. Um, I mean, they're both somewhat independent characters, so they're both just two solid characters. Uh, but yeah, Roland, his ability to just get clues for killing enemies, um, combined with the fact that he gets access to all these seeker cards is really nice, such as magnifying glass or uh, stuff like Pathfinder is really great, which is basically just a free movement action every turn. That's really good. Uh, stuff like in the know where he can just investigate any location as if he were there. It really, I mean, action economy, like I said, is is a big deal. <laughs> so again, like we're. Uh, I did the, we're on, uh, yeah, we did, we did the, uh, thing. Planning the escape. So I did those four things very easily. I actually, Daniel was the last room I entered. The other three all contained things to do. So I did all those and 
I incited a fight again, so that's all pretty easy. And now we're one step away from the garden. I do not have Daniel with me, and that's because I chose not to take the Onyx Clasp this time, that little trinket. I made a few different decisions this time, just for the heck of it, so we actually have more doubt than conviction now. Uh, I still burned down the house and killed them all because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, and so if you don't have the Onyx Clasp with you, Daniel actually becomes a monster and turns on you. So I had to put him down. <laughs> Roland Banks took a machete to him. Um, what's odd is it says if you control the class of Black Onyx, you can parlay with him. But he becomes a monster because... You didn't take the clasp of Black Onyx, so I don't know what to think of that. Anyways, yeah, let's get the hell out of this asylum. So we're... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that would crash the whole thing. I was in a single-player game. Oh, maybe I wasn't. You're right, I was. All right, give me a second. All right, yeah, uh, luckily Tabletop Simulator continually makes auto saves for you. Um, right, so we're one step away from the garden where we can resign uh, as long as there's no enemies there. Um, but uh, Safina has two enemies on her as a young psychopath and an asylum gorger. Pretty problematic. Roland's got nothing on him, so he's just going to hop, skip away, and resign. He's done. And, oh, what ho. Elusive. That's handy. You can disengage from each enemy engaged with you and move to a reveal location with no enemies. I think I'll do that. And leave these two right here. And go here. And resign. Good stuff. Now, that actually that situation was quite a bit worse because uh, one of those enemies was on her and one of enemy was on Roland. So he actually had to drag the Gorger over here just so she could do that. Uh, I probably could have killed them both. It wouldn't have been the end of the world, but the Gorger hit pretty hard. Three damage, three horror. That's a little painful, but yeah, we're all good. That is a success. All right. We did not take the keys by force. I successfully stole them again. The guards are too busy controlling the situation and restraining the asylum's patients to notice your escape. Resolution 3. With the asylum staff distracted and patients running amok, you're able to slip away without being noticed. You escape deeper into the garden behind the asylum, where a two-story tall fence topped with barbed wire is all that separates you from the outside world. You have a little time and need to make it far away from the asylum before the guards return and spot you. Using a straitjacket you found inside to cover the barbed wire, you scale the fence quickly, breaking into a run as you make it to the other side. Escape the asylum. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Victor's play. Okay, remove all that shit and add two of those octopus elder things. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, it just like constantly keeps changing around. Okay. As for the victory display, um, no, 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 we got one here. I did that. That is it there. And we got Daniel. So two XP only. All right. Interlude to Lost Soul. Uh, lunatic Daniel was presented. Daniel did not survive. You decide to lay low for some time in Ma's boarding house, unsure whether news of the events at the asylum will get out to the general public. You take this time to make extensive notes of the events you've experienced thus far, including the brief dialogue between you and Daniel. He'd spoke of the King in Yellow as if it were an actual being, and even named it Haster. 
He'd rambled and muttered and screeched other phrases as well. You doubt you'll ever forget them. He made us speak the oath. The price was paid. They are opening the path to Carcosa. For hours you think about Daniel's warning to you, which he begged you to heed. Do not speak his name. His final moments play out in your mind over and over again. I must decide. Possession, oaths, there must be another explanation for all this. Proceed to ignore the warning. We must heed Daniel's warning. We must not speak the name of the king in yellow. Proceed to heed the warning. I think we probably heed the warning. Uh, for hours you struggle with this insight into the king in yellow. What is true? What is real? Only you can sort through this madness. Heeded Daniel's warning. Okay. Um, we get to conviction. We're getting convicted again. We get one additional XP each as we gain insight into the machinations of the Tattered King. For the remainder of the campaign, any time an investigator speaks the name of Haster aloud during a scenario or during the setup of a scenario, that investigator must immediately take one horror. What the fuck? All right, I guess I will not say that name ever again. Starting now. All right, we got four XP, though. So let's look at our upgrade path for Safina. Let me just double check. We got all that charisma. That is on the table. That is on the docket. Charisma, charisma, charisma. Charisma Carpenter. Remember her? Probably don't. All right, there you have it. Uh, and remember before I was confused, I was like, it doesn't say what cards to remove when you take Streetwise. That's because these per these cards are permanent, so they start in play, meaning they don't actually take up slots in your deck. So you don't have to replace them with shit. That's nice. That just costs three XP, so we'll do that. Uh, next would be the lucky dice again, which I seem to recall. Whoops. I seem to recall did not cost what he says they cost. It cost two. All right, that's fine. All right, so that will hold. Uh, as for Roland Banks. I can't afford that shit. Are you crazy? This is supposed to be our next upgrade. That's five. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It's got three ammo. Uh, you get plus five strength for the attack, and it deals plus two damage. Basically, like an absurd uh, backstab. It's three ammo, but I also already have uh, extra ammunition where you can add three ammo to any firearm. Yeah, I guess we'll hold on that. He needs one more XP. Uh, alternatively, I can upgrade my Vicious Blows. Um, those are two each. It's definitely a clear improvement. There's no reason not to get it. But, we gotta hold out. We gotta hold out to get that fucking lightning gun. Alright, let's, uh... Stack our deck back up. Make sure I didn't... Yep. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually like the first scenario that I didn't get cover up, which was great. That shit is terrible. I mean, of all the weaknesses, that's pretty... That's pretty bad. A little... A little maintenance there, a little cleanup action. You know how we do it. That goes up there. But 
Just fine. It's like, yeah, it's like cleaning up uh, a real table. A little faster. Thirty-nine. I haven't actually seen the man in the pallid mask once so far this campaign. After the first scenario, I've yet to draw him. Um. Should I have 39 cards? From the looks of it, yes. Yes. Okay, uh, we can delete all this shit. Um, yeah. Doing all right, I gotta say. I think playing two-handed does take long. Yeah. Playing two-handed does take longer. Just more shit is happening. You gotta deal with two... Two turns, two sets of hands, you know, all that sort of shit. But, uh... Hmm. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. Uh, moving on to Phantom of Truth. King did not claim his victim. Intro 2. It has been several weeks since the events in the asylum, and you are still no closer to the truth about the King in Yellow and Carcosa. You have scoured the city for signs of the others Daniel had mentioned, the ones who are opening the path to Carcosa, but found nothing. Either the trail has gone cold, or they're no longer in Arkham. Perhaps Daniel truly was insane, and you're only following him deeper down the rabbit hole. Every night you toss and turn as you are subjected to vivid dreams of Carcosa. It's black stars, twin suns, shattered moons, and twisted spires. Continue to dream one. Don't get lost. Oh my god, it's like, choose your own adventure. Uh, continue to dream... Wow, they're all over the place. What the... F you fall through the empty abyss of Holly. Creatures of unknown and impossible origin lurk just beyond the darkness of your sight. The king looms above you, magnificent and yet bound in his prison of madness, manipulating your torturous descent with a soul outstretched arm. I ain't no dummy. I know what I said. Each investor investigator has earned the lost soul weakness. Well, that sucks. Okay, let me... Uh, okay. Then, no, they probably put it aside. Yep, there we go. Four copies of them. Alright, well, each game, what does this say? Check campaign log. If you have more, equal doubt than conviction. Testing the land. So, basically, testing intellect or willpower, possibly taking damage. Not too bad, but logs up that deck. Damn that king. Damn that king, man. Continue to dream too. Constance takes your hand and pulls you into, out onto the polished dance floor. Come now, don't be shy. Tonight is a night for dancing, for celebration. Uh, if you true on a secret memes. Yeah, I did slay the monsters at the dinner party. Dream four. Smoke and embers float upwards into the starless night sky. The screams of burning creatures fill you with a horrid sense of accomplishment. They almost sound human, but you consider. But you know that isn't true. Each suffers one mental trauma. Oh, fuck, I finally paid for that shit. It seemed such a good idea. Now, Roland, now. Dream six. Uh, dream... The lights of the theater dim and a spotlight shines on the stage. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the creature exclaims. 
Its many tentacles reach across the stage, up into the rafters and throughout the aisles. It tears the curtains down, and tattered red cloth falls over its bulbous form. Uh, the police are not suspicious of me. So, dream eight. Uh, you peer in the mirror, and the stranger peers back at you. His gaze drills into your mind. The mirror shatters. There are three or fewer tallies under chasing the stranger, so dream nine. You chase the stranger through dark, chilly passageways composed of hundreds of thousands of skeletal bodies. Skulls watch as you run, their mouths rattling a mocking taunt as you pass. The stranger reaches a solid wall of bone and is grabbed by bony hands and pulled into the wall. Their mocking laughs reach an awful crescendo. Thirteen. Daniel's voice calls out to you. They are opening the path to Carcosa. Okay. You awaken from your fitful dreams, sweating and gagging. This cannot go on any longer. You have only one option if you are to continue your investigation. You must find Nigel Engram, director of the King in Yellow and architect of this madness. Only he will have the answers you seek. You pack your bags and plan your trip to Paris, the City of Lights. Set up. Okay, get all that shit, get all that shit. Five more equal doubt than conviction. No, I definitely have more conviction currently. Search the gathered for both copies of Black Star Rise and False Lead and remove them from the game. Like that. Search for Black Stars. Rise. None of that shit is... Oh, I see. Mm, okay. I'll... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay, they did all the work for me. Yeah, yeah. Choose one of the two Montmartre locations, one of the two Opera Garnier locations, and one of the two La Marais locations. La Marais. At random. Put them into play, remove the other from... Okay, blah, 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 blah. So... Mm-hmm. I've been to Paris, you know. It was decidedly not... horrific. So I'm sure this will be fine. Each investigator begins play at Guerre d'Orsay. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think Guerre just means station. That's it. We're good to go. Alrighty, let's read here. First night. As you step off the train in Gare d'Orsay, the sun sinks below the Paris skyline. You cannot waste any time. If Nigel Ingram is somewhere in Paris, you have to find him and wring the answer from him one way or another. Uh, I do have more conviction than doubt. So, when checking the Doom Threshold, Doom on cards other than this agenda, subtract from the total Doom in play instead of adding to it. That's pretty sweet. Parisian Conspiracy. You pass the Church of St. Barnaby as you exit the train station and cannot help but overhear the organ playing. Is there a sermon this late in the evening? You marvel at the wild and strange chords for a moment before continuing. Paris is a big city, and you have very few leads. Uh, okay, so we need four clues, but there's three or more doom in play we also advance. And look at that. I recognize that. This is also pretty trippy. I think if I saw that, I'd be uh, a little concerned. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Uh, we're starting at Gare d'Orsay. <sighs> Roland starts with two horror on him out of his five, so that's no good. Um, and uh, this is the only way I can really draw 13 cards easily for her. 
There you go. Uh, no weaknesses in the opener. Event, event, event. Uh, uh, event, event. There you have it. I'm going to hold on to draw into the flame and we'll ditch the second Athame. Live with that. We got to get clues fast. Draw into the flame gets them clues fast. All right. And then uh, Roland, he just gets a normal mulligan. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we want to ditch... I don't know. I mean, this lets you redraw an encounter card, but I have yet to really utilize it because you have to dump a clue. Which sometimes you actually do want to dump a clue because you get benefits for it, like uh, on his special gun. All right, we'll keep that and I'll just redraw one. Dodge. All right. At the very least, this guy can soak a couple horror for me. All righty. We need clues and we need them clues fast. Let's have the Fina go first. Um, let's just have her to draw into the fl oh, I forgot to this should get shuffled in. Oh, no, it doesn't mm, doesn't get shoveled in. I forgot. Ooh, good thing I'm going to shuffle it again. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that would have been annoying. Okay. Draw into the flame. Yes. So. Make sure we shuffle that one more time. Draw this. Torturous cords. Test willpower five. If you fail, put this into play in your threat area with one resource on it for each point you fail by. Each time you play a card, increase the cost of that card by one and remove one resource from torturous cords. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll encourage that, I guess. So six against five. All right, it's going into play. So one card I play is going to cost one extra. That could be worse. We're getting two clues. All right. Uh, then let's play Lone Wolf. So that's going to cost me two, and this goes away. And then third. Uh, let's play Arcane Initiate. Because that brings a, it's a Doom on it, which subtracts. So that keeps us safe. It's nice. Feels good. All right. Roland, my boy, my man, all that stuff. Let's play your machete, play the doctor. And uh, let's move. Zafina doesn't want you here. She's a lone wolf. Let's go to the Opera Garnier. There you go. See, this is a good location. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. She gets a resource and a holy rosary. He gets a resource and a machete. Another one. All right. So Doom is still at zero, technically. Twisted to his will. Uh, test X, where X is the amount of Doom in play. Hmm. So I think technically that number is two. Because we're not checking the doom threshold, we're checking the doom, which is two. So four against two. That would be a failure. Can't do much about that. So that means I have to discard two cards from my hand at random, which is pretty bad because that's all kind of useful shit. We lose in Courage and our Athame. I don't know. I guess. I probably would have preferred to lose Shriveling than the Athame, but... It's fine. Uh, okay, that's that. 
Roland gets frozen in fear. I love that. I just love it. Okay. See, but this is a three or more doom in play. So if I... I feel like next round that'll go. So I don't know if I even care. But I guess... We probably still want the clues anyways. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh... She gets a resource for Lone Wolf. She'll move to... Montparnasse. She can discard a card from her hand to gain resource equal to the number of willpower icons on the discarded card. Uh, no, I wouldn't pick to do that. She'll play Rite of Seeking, I guess, as her second action. Please don't do that. And... And her third action, she'll investigate here. Good. Good. Give me that clue. So that really begs the question of... Is it worth it? To spend the clues, if this is going to advance at the end of the round anyways. I don't know, but I guess it would... S we'd still have one more turn before it advanced. Because the mythos is the start of the round. Then, yeah, I suppose. Okay, let's play... Working a hunch. Gives us a clue. And then we'll spend the four. Maybe it's the worst idea I've ever had. We'll find out. Oh! There's definitely a difference. <laughs> Good on me. The organ you heard earlier continues to haunt you. No matter where you are, the torturous chords play over and over in your head. The sensation that you're being watched tugs at your mind. Uh, okay, the organist spawns at the location farthest from all investigators. Hopeless, I defied him side face up. Okay. Basically, the only difference would be we'd take two horror... But I think that's a good difference, because it doesn't look like... Oh, we will need more clues, but still. Hopeless I defied him. All right. Farthest would be... This. The Père Lachaise Cemetery. Okay, so he just hunts us down, and he does three horrors, so he's pretty horrifying. Our objective is to survive three nights. Oh my god. Oh, now I get it. Oh dear. So we want the doom to tick. Well, now we want the doom to tick. So now we can spend two clues to place a doom on the current agenda or automatically evade the organist. Yeah, because we can't kill this guy, so he's just gonna... Oh, uh, okay, so that was my... That wasn't even an action. That was nothing. All right, then I'll head to the Grand Gugno. Must either take two horror, shuffle all non-weakness cards from your hand into your deck, then draw an equal number of cards. That's okay. I can live with that. All right. Uh, 
Uh, so that was my first action. Second action... Oh no, that was my first and second action due to Frozen and Fear. Third action, let's just play Emergency Cash. And then we'll test Frozen and Fear. Three against three. Auto fail, that's great. Get a resource, get a card. Get a resource, get a card. And... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. This guy, so if he's unengaged... He moves twice here. So yes, he is gonna... Oh god, he's gonna be all up in Roland's shiznit. So, I mean, basically, Safina can just, like, try and continue to evade him. But that's easier said than done. All right, this goes up to two, but really it's at one, thanks to this shit. Her card is Hunting Shadow, spend a clue, or take two damage. Um, Let's... Well, we have to take the two damage. I mean, I could cancel it, but that doesn't seem smart. So let's take a damage. I'll kill her, and I'll take a hit. Roland... Gets another Frozen in Fear. And they do stack. Which means that the first move, fight, or evade each round I perform costs three of my actions. I... Yeah, it's shit. Ideally, then, I don't move, fight, or evade too much for the time being. Let's take a resource. Uh, with Lone Wolf. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't mind snagging this clue first, but if I do, Roland is really in trouble. This guy only does... Uh, only does sanity damage. And if he takes, like, one, <laughs> you know, one pure hit. I guess I have dodge. Play when an enemy attacks an investor at your location. Cancel that attack. But yeah, I think we want to hasten this along as quickly as we can. So let's try and investigate. We'll use right of seeking for against two. All right, we got a clue. Then I'm going to just move here. So this will engage. There's nothing I can do to avoid taking his three hit this turn, but Safina can take it. She's She's got a strong mind, you know? Okay. Roland. Oh boy, Roland. Let's um, investigate here. Use Inquiring Mind. So this is a six against three. Success. And let's spend those clues. I could spend them to automatically evade uh, the organist. Which would dump him on the ground. But honestly, she's going to be fine evading it from now on for the most part. So... Yeah, just place another doom. Okay, uh, so she takes the three. She gets a resource and a card. That's good. He gets, he gets a resource and a card. And that's fine. He has to test this shit, so... Yep. Three against three. That's one done. Three against three. Alright. One stuck around. Doom goes up by one. We're moving along. Sort of. Uh, Deadly Fate. Test willpower three. If you fail, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. You must either draw that enemy or that enemy attacks you from the discard pile. It's 
So I either take it or I just take the hit from it. Okay. Well, yeah. Four versus three. Success. Get out of here. You, draw an enemy. There you go. No, fuck me. While engaged with an investigator with remaining sanity, four or fewer, this gains a plus one fight and plus one evade. So it's a four, four, four. Little tricky. Tricky dicky. All right. Uh, she gets a resource from Lone Wolf. Then we're going to evade. So this is four against three. Which I don't even need to spend streetwise. It's just a success. Now she can sort of just box him in. I wish I had Dario. I could get the two resources for streetwise every turn. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to take money. Because as long as I have Streetwise, there's no penalty for failing an evade. The only way it really, this is really going to fail is if I get like three auto fails in a row or something. And I think she can just sort of keep him preoccupied. There's probably going to be other complications as we go, but right now that's the strat. All right, um, Roland can only hit this thing twice, because the first one is going to cost him two actions. So, yeah, just do a normal attack, five versus four, plus one. All right, that's two damage. My second one, let's use courage. I just want to be certain. Okay, didn't matter. Uh, Alright, that actually goes in the victory display, because that was a tougher monster. And I get a clue, because I killed a monster. Nice. Then do three against three for that. Nope, fail. We'll get it eventually. Alright, then uh, this thing comes back. He gets a resource and a card. Resource card. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Uh, Doom goes up to five. We're getting there. We're getting there. Er, but, but, but pale mask beckons. Uh, Alright, we're bringing out the man. We're bringing out the man. Where you at? Man, there you are. Uh, farthest from all investigators. One, two, one, two. It doesn't matter. All right, let's put him here. Yeah, this is the cool place to spawn. Okay. Uh, Roland. Stealthy Biaki. Ooh, five fight, two health. But when it's exhausted, it gets minus three fight. So you evade it, and then you butcher it. Not really too good at evading, though. All right. Uh... No, he's not too good at evading. I mean, the odds of me getting the evade are pretty slim compared to just, like, trying to butcher him twice and hoping to get a zero or plus one or elder sign, although the odds of that are kind of slim. Yeah, okay. Give it a shot. <laughs> See ya. Uh, I don't have any clues here, and that cost me two actions, but then let's move to the Opera Garnier. Uh, Safina gets a resource. She will try to evade. Four against three. Plus one, wow. Yeah, we're getting pretty lucky with these uh, chaos token draws. 
I'll play the Holy Rosary. For two. Uh, and then I will... Take a resource. And I get a resource and a card. Another painted world. I mean, if we could actually hurt this thing, we'd butcher it, but... Them's the breaks. Another unexpected courage. I like that. Uh, did I test for frozen in fear? I don't think I did. All right, failure. <laughs> okay. Uh, then this goes to six and ticks over. Bird starts to chirp eagerly. An orange tint slowly spreads across the sty skies. The creatures of the night shrink back into the darkness. You spend most of the day resting, and the daylight passes quickly with very little to show for it. Before you're able to fully recover from the previous night's events, it is evening once more. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with them, may move to a connecting location, move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. Okay. I may move to a connecting location. Okay, so we put, say, him here. Oh, I didn't even flip this. Hmm, that's something. Uh, okay. Oh, also... These are not connected. Fuck, that really broke stuff. I should not have been able to do that. Um, I don't know how to correct that. We're way too gone. <laughs> okay. So let's... Uh, oh, jeez. No, that doesn't work. Okay, we'll have him move here. She'll move here. He'll move here. This gets revealed. When your turn begins, if you're in Le Marais, draw a card. I like that. Okay. Fine. Second night. The city stirs as cold shadows embrace the streets. There's danger all around you. Danger that you cannot escape. Danger that will follow you to the ends of the earth. When will this waking nightmare end? Alright. Same, same effect in play. Hunted by Biaki. Test dexterity six. If you fail, reveal cards until. Okay, some bullshit. Some bullshit I don't want. I'm not gonna cancel it though, because we can definitely succeed on this. Um, that's the great thing about cards like this is that you don't have to spend it until you need to spend it. It's not. Uh, Spend two resources when you would take do a dexterity skill test. You get, you know, it's just, you know, I, I believe, unless I'm completely mistaken. But no, see this player window right after you draw an encounter card. So we're good. Let's just do four versus six. All right. It's, uh, we have to spend the two, but we only have to spend two. And that's a success. Roland, yellow sign. That's a pretty bad one. I could dump a clue here with William and redraw. Otherwise, yeah, I'd have to do like five versus four. Alternatively, if I fail, no, I don't want the madness weakness. Yeah, all right, let's dump the clue. And uh, William will let us redraw. Spires or Carcosa. Attach your location. Place to Doom there. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, you can remove a Doom. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. I mean, it's a bummer normally, but now it's a reverse bummer because it prevents Doom from progressing. See what I'm saying, though? They're always doing interesting shits. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's begin. He's going to play the magnifying glass. 
And then he's just going to be investigating three times. First to remove Doom. Because investigating does not cost him double actions. So this is four against three. One. Success. Two. Success. Three. Success. Can't argue with that. Get out of here. And give me that clue. Alright then, uh, willpower. No, nope, that's the big fail. Alright. We tried. Okay, um... Her turn began here, so she can draw a card. Elusive, good. If I wait for him to come to me, uh, I'll get hit with the sanity again. So let's move to him. After you evade an enemy at Canal St. Martin, move that enemy to a connecting location. Uh, now I don't have to do that. That's the thing, because I actually don't want to do that. Because then he'll continue, he'll move in and hit me and I'll have to keep chasing him. That's not good. So we moved. Now we're going to evade this bastard. Uh, again, four versus three. Still a success. <laughs> We've been pretty lucky with that. We don't even need this streetwise strategy. Uh, then for my third action... Uh, I guess let's try and investigate. Two versus uh, four. Hmm. I'd have to spend four just to succeed. It's not really worth it, so just leave it. Get a resource and a card. Get a resource and a card. Uh, this guy comes back to me. This ticks up to one. We need to get to five, so we got a ways to go. Counter card, Screeching Biaki. Yeah, things get a little bit more complicated now. I have to evade both of them. Uh, you get Twin Sons. Test Intellect 4. If you fail, you must either remove one Doom from the current agenda, or take one Horror for each point you failed by. Um, okay. Let's play Unexpected Courage. So that's one point. We'll put one horror on old William. All right. Okay, she'll go first. She gets a resource. She's going to evade the organist first. Uh, yep, four against three. <laughs> Success again. All right. Then she'll evade the screeching Biaki. Um, I could alternatively, I could backstab it, but, and I could pretty much guarantee the backstab, but I wouldn't be able to guarantee a kill because I don't have a way to easily boost my fight. Um, I mean, I could play Storm of Spirits. Hmm. <laughs> But no. We'll evade a four versus three. Ah, that sucks. That means we're gonna take a hit. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. That's just how it is. Uh, I mean, I could be elusive. But this thing's a hunter, so it wouldn't matter anyways. It would go after fucking Roland. So just leave it. All right, Roland, you're going to move, which costs two. I don't want to drag it off her, because she can handle it better than I can. I'll swing at it. 
I'll swing at it at the very least. Uh, for five against three. Oh no, I can't. Fuck, bolt. Oh no, no, I already caught, lost the. Okay, so no, this is just one action. Five against three. That is X is the amount of doom in play, which is just one right now. So that's a success. That only does one damage, but that does let her backstab. Or um, next turn, I can pull it off him and kill it so that I get the clue for free, which is probably better. Uh, all right, let me test for fucking <laughs> frozen in fear. No, still a failure. Damn it. All right, uh, so she's going to take a damage and two horror. He gets a card. Yeah, he gets... He's got a lot of money. Oh, Pathfinder's nice. He can he can move without it costing double actions. Uh, okay. Then uh, she gets Organist again. This goes up to two. Counter card, Twin Sons. Test Intellect four. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to spend for this. Yeah, I'll have to spend too. Be gone. Hunting shadows. Spend a clue or take two damage. He can definitely take two damage. I am not sweating that. All right, good. Let's start with Roland. He's going to drag the Biaki off of her as an action. Then for my other two actions, we're on uh, a fight. We're definitely using a vicious blow, so this will do three damage. That's a six versus a four. We'll just have to trust in it. Aha. Dead. Another victory point. I love it. And I get a fucking clue. Which I can then spend. Get another dupe. Hells yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Safina does not get Lone Wolf because she's not alone. Roland had to barge in. He will evade. <laughs> Again, it's a success. Holy shit. This guy is just... What is he doing? What is he doing? Um, then we'll play Uncage the Soul to bring out Shriveling. Uh, and then for a third action, I guess investigate. Yeah, do it. What is that? What is that? Minus two. If you fail, lose one resource for each point you fail by. So technically, I have a zero. I will spend the four. <laughs> Make it a success. I mean, I'll like lose two anyways. I might as well get the clue. All right. She gets a resource and a card. Ah, oh, there's Dario finally. Uh, um... The organist slaps back on her. He's he's really trying to get her. He's desperate. He's a desperate dude. Okay, this goes up to four. Twist to do his will. Uh, okay, this is willpower four. And if I fail, I have to discard two random cards. Let's go with six. Damn. No, you're right. Holy Rosary. Sorry. So I have seven. We're we're that's fine. Good. Sorry, I shouted at you. Spires of Carcosa. Mm -mm, damn. But that's too doom on it. 
And this is a hefty one at four. Not ideal. Don't remember if I tested Frozen in Fear. I don't think so. Uh, that's definitely a big no. All right, thank you. All right. Let Sophia, Safina go first. She is going to evade, of course. <laughs> Plus one. It's like the game wants me to evade this dude. Second action. She'll play Dario. Third action, she'll exhaust Dario to get two. Roland, 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 Roland. Um, yeah, I guess it's just sort of a four against a four. Only concern. The only concern is that the elder thing might cause me to lose resources. Uh, but he's got plenty, so just do four against four. Fail. Success. Success. All right. That removes the two doom. Get rid of that. She gets a resource and a card. Drawn to the flame. Nice. Not really moving much. Okay. My music stopped. That's how you know we've been going too long. This goes to five, so it does tick over. Your relief, the sun once again begins to rise, peaking just over the eastern horizon and casting long shadows across the city streets. You're completely exhausted from the night's events. It feels as though you haven't slept in weeks. Perhaps you haven't. Um... <laughs> Okay, Jordan Perry is dead. Okay, so we each disengage, move to a connecting location, and then the organist moves. Oh, okay, I can't. No, I can't force that. All right, put Roland here, Safina here, and him here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The third night. On the evening of your third night in Paris, a desperate resolve stirs within you. This cat and mouse game cannot go on any longer. One way or another, this night will end it. All right. Oh boy. I mean, we've been doing pretty darn well so far. I gotta say. Gotta say. So... God damn it. It's like, that seems different. Stealthy Biaki. Alright. Okay, that's definitely doable. Also, I'm pretty sure there should be... I didn't use shriveling. Okay. Uh, he gets... Actually, you know what? No, I... No. I, I, I thought about doing this anyways. Uh, I'm going to play on the hunt. I cheated a little bit. I, I shouldn't have looked at it. But when you would draw an encounter card, instead take the top nine, look for an enemy, and spawn it engaged with you. Roland's looking to fight something, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. <laughs> it's a big waste if you don't actually get an enemy. Okay, that's definitely something I can kill and get a free clue out of it, so... Yes, please. 
Alrighty then. Lone Wolf triggers. We're gonna evade the stealthy Biaki. Four against three. Plus one. It's evaded. Then I'm gonna use shriveling on it. This is five against two. Elder sign. Very much dead. You're gone. Here's the tricky part. I can't move on to him and evade but what I can do is move one further away he can move twice but he can't attack if he does that so and we he doesn't have a prey so we get to pick who he goes after and we'll just pick Safina so she's gonna move to Notre Dame oh they get plus one evade at Notre Dame it's a little trickier Ooh, but that is very nice. She's definitely going to try to do that. Why would you want to remove Doom from the current agenda? I don't know. Maybe so they can reuse this card for different scenarios. I don't know. Uh, all right, that was her turn. Roland is, of course, going to be battling this creature with Vicious Blow. Uh, which gives him six against two, as long as I don't draw that stupid... Yeah, boy. Alright, so that's dead, and I get a clue. Uh, that cost me two actions. We've got two clues here. Let's spend both of them to bump this up. Then my third action will be to play Pathfinder. You never know. Yeah, Machete is pretty fucking good. I think they nerfed this or something like that. They put it on, like, a list where... <laughs> if you follow their rules for your single-player, you know, <laughs> non-online game, you're, like, a little bit restricted with Machetes or something. Because it is, like, absurdly good. It's basically an unlimited-use gun. For three cost and zero XP. It's pretty good. All right, uh, Frozen in Fear. Oh my God, we finally got it. Praise Jeebus. Okay, uh, this dude is going to move here and move here. Uh, so he's engaged with everybody, doesn't attack. Draw a card and uh, draw. Oh, the Elder Sign Amulet. Nice, 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 nice. Doom goes up here. One of these, the other sign. Uh, okay. That's five against four. That is actually a failure. So, I guess we place a four here. And this goes up. She actually does have a madness, I believe, because of uh, lost soul is a madness. We have more conviction than doubt, so willpower. This is a four, no, a five, two test. Easy pass. So, that's that. Uh, that's that, that's that. Then this Swift Biaki, hell yeah, boy. Although, a little trickier this time as I don't have Vicious Blow, but we'll just hit it twice. And get another clue. Okay, uh, first things first, Lone Wolf, Evade, he gets plus one, so that's four against four, still a success. Oh, uh, you poor bastard. Let's do... Yeah, let's do Drawn to the Flame. Hunting Shadow, spend a clue or take two damage. I can take two damage. Could also cancel that, but we don't even need to. We're just gonna spend those two clues immediately for my uh, for that. So that's up to three. Then um, might as well try for this willpower shit. I have a five. This is a six. Let's go for six. 
Let's be a little bit more bold. Let's go for seven. Still a failure. Still a failure, and I can't buff it, so that was such a stupid waste, Mang. All right, well, you live and learn. Uh, okay, Roland is going to attack this twice. This thing is a five against two. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just get friggin' lucky. Uh, so I get a clue for that. Then, um... We can use Pathfinder to move here. And then try and investigate. With a, uh, four versus three. No, five versus three. Success. And I do believe that's two clues. Which is another doom. And then uh, Mythos phase comes around. This goes up to five and that's it. The sun rises and dispels the darkness. A warm fog envelops the city, blotting out the sky. More conviction than doubt. Advance to act to be. You lose track of yourself in this city as you flee for your life. Your feet move of their own accord. The beating of sinewy wings and screeching of creatures above you spurs you onward. Soon you find yourself running down a narrow avenue, passing a set of heavy iron gates. You're in a dead end, a court with tall, old houses on either side. You turn back toward the entrance and breathe a sigh of relief as you see the sun rising once more over the skyline of Paris. As though dispersed by the sunlight, the figure that had been chasing you folds into the shadows and vanishes. Just as you are about to leave, you spot a plaque next to a red-brown door atop a steep, narrow staircase. It reads, N. Engram. Alright, we just get resolution one, which is usually not a good one. Uh, okay, no, it's fine. You can only assume this house belongs to Nigel Engram, the director of The King in Yellow. At last, you finally found your quarry, and yet it is little relief to your straining sanity. You feel like a dog being led by a leash, your fate decided by a cruel master who has long kept you in the dark. You push those gloomy thoughts to the back of your mind and knock on Mr. Engram's door. There's no response, but a flock of magpies that scatter from the rooftop at the sudden noise. You try the doorknob, hoping you won't have to resort to more forceful measures. To your surprise, you find the door unlocked. Inside, Nigel's home is a mess of notes, old books, and strange diagrams. Covering the coffee table in his living room is an old, faded map, bearing many fold, creases, and tattered edges. It looks to be an incomplete map of the catacombs beneath Paris, or at least a section of it. The food in his pantry is old and rotten. There is no sign of anyone having lived here for years, and yet the ink upon the living room's walls is wet and fresh. Over and over, across nearly every inch of the wallpaper, it reads, He is already here. All right, found Nigel's home. <sighs> Remove all that shit from the bag. This shit and this shit. And we're adding two of the masked gentlemen back in. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then we get bonus XP. I think we do get some bonus XP. Not from any loca- oh, wait a minute. One from the Grand Gugnol. One from the Canal Saint Martin. That's good. And then another two there. Four XP, baby! Incredible. We fucking rocked that scenario. I know I cheated once. I'm aware. But you can't win them all. I didn't realize until it was too late. If you weren't paying attention, what I did was I moved straight from Montparnasse uh, up here and then up here. And there's no connecting path there. So... I would have had to have gone here, here, here. And I think I could have done that. I just wouldn't have waited. I spent an action here to get a clue. So technically, I still... It wouldn't have been that big of a difference if I had paid attention and followed the rules. I, it wasn't like game breaking what I did, really. 
I would have had one less clue, so this game probably would have went on another round, essentially. But, meh, as I can live with that. I generally rocked that scenario. This organist didn't do shit. Oh my god, he got just juked left and right. Hell yeah, that was incredible. And Roland, even with Frozen with Fear, he was just doing non-stop work. He butchered so many things with that machete. Oh my god. Oh, it was this was poetry in motion. Didn't get the man in the pallet mask, so... <laughs> you know, that's what it is. But now we're gonna get that, uh... We're gonna get that lightning gun! Oh, yeah! This is running long, though, so we'll, we'll get that at the start of the next one. Um, uh, so that's all good. Next, we're moving on to the pallid mask. That looks fun, huh? Looks like he's got a light bulb in his mouth, but I think it's like an eye stalk. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, good stuff. My name is Mang. Game watching has been Arkham Horror, the card game. See you fine folks in the next part.